Every so often, someone comes along who sees the world differently. I believe, Lord, I believe too. I've seen the light. He has a feeling of wonderment. He has a feeling of, wow, to hell with a view. I prefer to treat. I'm never afraid to make a fool of myself. Someone who is uncompromising. If you're for the truth, you have to be against falsehood. Well, I'm a nerd. Someone who changed the way we see ourselves. Let's study a little psychology, see what they know. Well, they didn't know nothing. And nobody mentioned biology. Nobody mentioned natural selection. And therefore, nobody had a theory of function. We are all in this together, unified. I was in my anti-ego phase, which corresponded with the maximum size of my own ego. See, I'm an international pirate. The leadership at, at Harvard, I think, found him a little hard to, to take. Somebody like Trivers was definitely a round peg trying to fit into a square hole. It's never a dull moment around him. If you couldn't get outside, you don't want a hyena eating your ass. Bob Trivers is one of the really greatest thinkers of evolutionary biology and theory that we have. Because he gave elegant answers to the fundamental questions of the human condition. He didn't care about differences between groups, but really about a universal human nature. I was um, a Black Panther enthusiast, really, before I ever met Huey Newton. The uh, police in our community couldn't possibly be there to uh, protect our property because we own no property. If I have a theory of self-deception that works for you, and works for you, but doesn't apply to myself, we got a little problem here. Our brains are vulnerable to a series of logical fallacies. As living things, as part of the natural world, what kinds of behavior and what kinds of motives and emotions would have been favored by evolution? Never assume the animal you are studying is as stupid as the one studying it. Thank you.